very much. So, uh, coming back to the structural engineering part, mm -hmm. um, what what is the what is the future of structural engineering? Like, what do you think? Um, you know, how do you think the future technology is going to affect that? Like, how do you think the AI is going to affect that industry? Okay, so this is like a very big question, even for us, to be frank. Mm -hmm. So structural engineering, I think, never dies, like you all know, because there is always new structures coming in, or we try to repair the existing ones, or we have to be innovative, creative to create something new, right, in structures. But AI is a big question for the researchers on how it's going to, you know, impact our lives as well, like mm -hmm. um, in the minds of designers, uh, mm -hmm. in the designing point of view, I would say. So, but there is like immense in possibility for innovation, I feel, uh, mm -hmm. because I worked with AI in my uh, thesis, in fact. So what I did there was like I've uh, stored many models for the soil based on the vibrations it has been affected. Like say there was an area uh, of field where uh, it was subjected to a lot of earthquakes. So what we did is we gathered all the information uh, from around the DOTs and we fed into a model like for training and all that purpose and used uh, ANN, of course, to come up with a model which will help us predict the displacement for future. So this was like the of AI into geotechnical or structural engineering both together. So I think um, based on that personal experience, it was super easy for me to kind of break out all the codes and um, get into something which was more easy to predict things. Mm -hmm. So before we had certain ways to do it, but it included like long codes or analytical equations or something like that. This one was much easier, but of course you need some data for it. So I don't know, but like the larger scope in all areas, but I feel personally that it's going to be very useful, very innovative and very impactful. Got it, got 